What's up everybody? It's Duke from SportsGamers.com and today we're here with the first mailbag for Madden 12, guys. Um, keep in mind, this is a Platinum membership exclusive, but for the first week we're going to give it away for free just so everyone can get a general idea of what we do. Basically, uh, we allow our users to submit questions and each week we randomly select questions to answer on the show. Um, this week our first question is dealing with custom playbooks and um, how to set audibles for our custom playbook. So let's go ahead and look at that. Now the um, thing I'm going to do here is you got to base your playbook um, on a playbook that does not have hidden formation. So um, Dallas, Carolina, you know, just playbooks that don't have hidden plays are what you want to use. A formation or a playbook has set in place, it's going to be very difficult to set up. So what we do here when we first get in here is we just remove, um, start removing all the plays from uh, the playbook. Now there's going to be certain plays that they're not going to let you remove. Um, there's going to be one play, action play, that's just going to stick here no matter what. Also there's going to be some plays that um, are like rated for situations that won't be able to move. Uh, the way we're going to be able to move those, I'll show you guys once we get there. But until then, just continue just removing all the plays uh, until we get to the point where we have to start editing them. And uh, you see I'm just still steadily removing my plays here. Okay, now you see that it says you must, uh, you know, you can't remove this play because it's rated for certain situations. The way we get around this is just take away all the stars. Now we can remove it. Uh, we'll do the, have to do the same thing with this one. Same thing with this one as well. Again, just remove all the stars. Okay, now this play action play is not going to let us remove it. So we're going to have to keep this one, but then again, here we go again. we got to edit, rate these plays before we can delete them. Get the ratings off just by making them have those stars. Keep on doing it with all three of these plays before we can remove them. Good to go with that. Boom, boom. Same thing here. Just checking to make sure it looks all good. We need use three more plays. We must get rid of the ratings for. Looking good. Again, looking good. the Wildcat plays, and we're left with 32 plays. Uh, the play action is not going to let us remove it, but that should not matter. Alright, so now guys, go back to uh, the set where you can add plays. Now once you get all those plays moved, all you have left is that play action. We're at 32 play count. Now we can add five audibles. The first five plays um, that we add as audibles, or that we added to our playbook, are going to be our audibles. And um, the first play you add, you just want to rate it for all situations. So <clears throat> let's say, let's find a play I want to add here. Say I want um, the, the wide trail, for instance. Say I want that as an audible. I'll just go ahead, set it, rate it, boom, 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 boom. Just rate it. It doesn't even matter what you rate it. Just I'll rate it. So everything's going to be good here. Just random ratings. It really does not matter what you rate them. Alright, so after that, then you can keep going and add four more audibles. What, I mean, whatever audibles you want, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we could add 
anything we want at this point. Tons of plays here. And finally we have one more audible we can set. And we're going to pick wide trails. So now notice we went from uh, 32 to 37. And what we're going to do is we're going to go um, to practice mode. And you should see the five plays we uh, added um, as our audibles once we go into practice mode. So I'm going to save this real quick. Whatever you want to name it, it really doesn't matter. So now I'm backing out and I'm headed to practice mode just to show you guys that uh, your audibles should transfer over. And uh, once that happens, then you go back into the custom playbook and you just add whatever, you know, other formations in place to fill out your playbook. But first things first, I always say go into practice mode and um, grab your playbook your custom cowboys just to make sure that the audibles are correct once you notice that they're correct then you can go back and fill out that custom playbook with the rest of the plays and formations you want and use so we're just doing a double check here for the audibles just wait one second bear with me while practice mode loads up question this week uh, comes from Jay Walker. He's asking how I set up the Raiders uh, depth chart. So let's go into the NFL rosters and look at how I have the Raiders set up. Alright, first thing you notice is that I'm actually starting Terrell Pryor at quarterback. Um, I like Terrell Pryor. I like his speed and I found a way to make him throw accurately consistently. Uh, which I'm going to put up as, as a tip. Uh, I put Campbell as a backup because there's some formations where you can use a backup QB package, which is good. Also, if prior ends up getting hurt, I'd rather have Campbell than anyone else. Going to running back, um, pretty much you see everything is normal here, except for I put Bush at third and Jones as the backup. Because if I want to use the twin running back package, uh, Jones, you see, he's extremely fast, 95 speed, 96 excel. I'd rather have his speed in the game than Bush's power. Um, fullback, pretty much left the same. The one adjustment I'd say to make though is put Bush as the backup and uh, Boss as the um, third string. Okay, uh, here I've basically gone with Schoen, Tabor Bay, Murphy, Ford, then Murphy. Uh, those are the four guys that are going to be in the most. Uh, I'd go ahead and take Hagen out and put in Boss for the sixth spot. For tight end, I got Osbury and then Boss and then Reese. 
Uh, run, uh, ta you know, offensive line, I just auto reorder it and let that stay the same. Uh, the end, I, for my DNs, I got Scott and Moss. D tackles, I go up Seymour and Kelly. Linebackers, got Groves, um, McLean and Williams, and then Davis for middle linebacker. And then Wembley. Wembley's a really, really good linebacker. Okay, guys, D, or for the, um, for the cornerbacks, I got Ralph, Johnson, Van Dyke, Chekwa, and then Ware. Uh, for the safeties, I got Huff. Then I'm going to put Mitchell back up. Strong safety, I got Branch, then Van Dyke, then again Mitchell. Kicker and punter again, obviously, Janikowski and Leckler. Kick return and punt return, you want a forward. And uh, that's how I set it up. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of speed on this game. That's one of the overlying themes you see here with the way I set my depth chart up. Uh, speed is definitely in abundance on the Raiders. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of the Mailbag, guys. And uh, be sure to submit more questions, and I will be randomly selecting them to be answered next week.